guys, welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. Remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything that we're uploading on the channel. Now, today it's totally something different. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm in this limo. I'm not alone, actually, in the limo. This is our end of year episode and I thought, let's celebrate with some of my guests, some of the people I had on the show, so they can either interview each other or they can just share the best experience they had on the show. They tell us which show, which of their episode was their favorite. Now, I'm not alone in here. I'm with Mr. Simon Mwewelen. Hi. Hi, Helen. And thank you so much for having me. Are these windows tinted, by the way? Yes. Oh, they are? Okay. So they can't see us. They can't see us. Set. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. I'm glad to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much for having me. And once again, we love this show and we support it. Very, thank very you. Much, yeah. Thank you. I love, and I've seen that you've been supporting for a long time. And so that, that's amazing. We're growing the numbers. It's for, because of people like you, actually. Okay. Yeah. Is, well, the content is great. It speaks for itself. Yeah. So. What was your favorite part about being on the show when you were at my camp? Well, I love the way, I'm not a, a good looking guy or anything, but, <laughs> but on your set, I sort of did a double take. I thought, hey, Mr. Mayor, there. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Well, uh, your wife obviously <laughs> tells you that you're good looking, so. Well, she does. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah. But I love being on your show. Yeah. And I must tell you, one of my favorite shows, I've, you've done so many, but one of my favorite ones uh -huh. was when the one you did with your maps, the follow up yeah. show you did. What did you Yo like Mouse. about that? Well, because there was a lot of clarity. That, that came with that show because of all of that controversy going on. I, I felt that he he really did his best to explain his side of the story. And I love that you gave him that platform to do yeah. it. And, and, and to a degree, I think it, it sort of it sort of extinguished the, the flames a bit. Yeah. So I, I liked that about it. Okay, that's, uh, that's very good. So we are going somewhere. We're going to pick up uh, the other people that we're supposed to be with today. It won't just be me and him but I decided to pick him first so that we can have a conversation. Okay. Because he loves conversation. Mr. Moe, you, you like to interview people. You've interviewed me before, I twice, have. even and I, today. And, I, and I've done it today, and yeah, I love it. Yeah, today. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever think of having your own show? Well, I'm working on that. Um, uh, not, not a show like a sit-down show. Yeah. Uh, we're working on opening up a, an online uh, television station. It's, yeah. it's going to be called the SML TV. Yeah, I saw the logo. Station. It looks yeah. good. Thank you. Thank it you. Looks good. Yeah. So it's it's really going to mainly focus on the ins and abouts of the central business district, local news, um, things like that. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to ask you something. From the last time we had an interview, I, I remember you told me I no longer want to talk about Chilipe Tayale because he messed up a business deal that I was supposed to have. So I'm like, oh, okay, we're moving on from that. Then I'm seeing your first book is flooded with, what are you calling him now? I can't pronounce. He's a leprechaun. <laughs> he's he's several, several different things. But to answer your question, yeah. Uh, and incidentally, let me say, that 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 deal that I lost yeah. actually came. The reason I, I decided to keep talking about it yeah. is because, you know, I'm reminded of that, that old quote, evil thrives because good people just sit back and do nothing. Of course, I'm not touting myself as the perfect good person, but when, when you see people that are like him, for instance, yeah. his whole MO, his modus operandi, is to destroy, vilify, and people just let him get away with it. You know, I had to stand up and say, you know what, this is wrong, you can't do that. You know, he vilified Vespas, the young girl that died. I know people don't like- I know like, you're really touched about yeah, that. Yeah, I know people don't like talking about that, but the truth is, Chilifia Tarly said horrible things about Vespas, and people didn't take him to task for it. Yeah. And, and, and it pains me, you know, and I think he should apologize for that. Okay, so how long are you, are you just going to say, okay, he hits on other people, I'm gonna be the one to make you pay for what you're doing to other people? Well, if, as long as he posts nonsense, I'm gonna be there to rebut. I'm gonna be there to push back. Because in Zambia, I notice people, for some reason, they fear him. And yet there's nothing to fear. He's, he's such an ordinary guy, you wouldn't believe it. You know, so uh, my, my, this is my, my, my position. As long as he posts nonsense, I will be there to correct that nonsense. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, we're going to pick up, we're going to the Elementals Hotel right now. And we're gonna pick up uh, Roberto and media personality, Christabel, Christy. If, uh, have you ever interviewed Roberto before? I have, I've interacted with him and I think he's, uh, he's an incredible talent. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what, what are you, what, what, what's something that you want to ask him today? What would you like to, to Well, I'd like to ask him about his new song. Fake. Fake. I'd like to ask him what inspired would him. Would you say to Lucatel is fake? Absolutely. One hundred percent. He he is the consummate fake person. Yeah. So Roberto's song, I would ask him. I would ask Roberto about that song. Okay. Yeah. What else? Um, well, I would, I, if if he's married, if he has a family, I don't, I know nothing of that. Are you serious? I, I don't know anything about his family life. Okay. Then I'll let you interview Roberto. Yeah. I, I won't do the interview. I'll probably just chip in here and there. Yeah. I'll let you do that interview because okay. I know all that. Oh, do you? Yes. Okay. So, well, you know everybody, Helen, so... No, I yeah. don't know everybody. <laughs> there are people I wish I could have on the show that have never come on the show. Really? Like who? Mampi. You've never had Mampi? No. Really? Have you have you reached out to her? So many times. So when she sees me, the first thing she says is, I owe you, I'll be on the show. I've been trying to. Yeah, I know. Well, she, I know she's very busy, but you just have to... Your personality, you'll get her. Yeah, I've, I've been trying. So she's just been telling me, okay, just wait, I need to do something. Yeah. Oh, and Exa on Nalu. Exa will cause me one daughter. Because uh -huh. every time I call, do I can't talk to you? And Zaka for a show, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I won't stop till you come on the yeah. show. I want you on your yeah. wife on the show. So yeah. I'm hoping to have those, like, uh, Exa with his wife. I want to have them together. Then, uh, Mom. Okay. Let me ask you, have you ever wanted to have a political figure? Have you ever tried to speak to the president or one of the biggest opposition leaders. Have you ever tried to reach out to them? You know, I I, I wish the president, I've never even thought of getting it. I would love to interview the president. You should the get president. the president. I would love to interview the president, yeah. but um, yeah, I, I tried to have his daughter at some point, but I... It didn't work? It didn't work. Okay. Because his protocol, the dad is, yeah. yeah so you should get him. So I would love to get him. Yeah, get him, get him. You know, politics always give you this debate of, should I go, should I? I don't want people to start saying I'm politics you belong to this party you belong to the, and, and you know the key to that the key is that your your show is a non-political show it, yeah. it, it talks to everybody yeah. but the key is interview everybody yeah. interview the president and interview the leader of the opposition yeah and balance if, it if out. anybody who is close to the president is watching would love to have the president on yeah. the show yeah. yeah i would yeah. love to i'll be honored yeah. even to have just even the opposition the big the big names it yeah. would be an honor because really we're not going to just politicize it, but yeah. really talk about them. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. would, it would be interesting. I'd love to. Yeah. As soon I'd as you do that, let us know. We'll be watching, girl. You you have to. Yeah. You have yeah. to. So uh, maybe I'll start working on that. Okay. I can start pushing here. One, yeah. two things. You here should. And see you should. If With it, your connections, the, girl, the, you'll get it done. The moment she says yes, I'm going to call you and say, yeah. Uh, we have him, he's uh -huh. coming on And the I'll be there, I'll be there in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be there. Maybe yeah. that day you can just be like, I'll be your director. Yes. Uh -huh. Control your English. Uh -huh. uh, no. what, what, what word am I learning today? <laughs> am I learning any new words? Today? Uh, today you're learning uh, kleptomania. Okay. Have you ever heard of a kleptomania? I have, but I, I don't know what it means. A I've kleptomaniac heard. is a person that has an impulse to always steal. Oh. He can't help himself, or she can't. A kleptomaniac a steals it. Now, now I'm a glasses alive. Yeah. You know, yeah. They're okay. called kleptomaniacs. Okay. Yes. I've learned a new word. And guys. A, a, person, a kleptomaniac is a person who steals anything. They steal. Right. Who has a strong urge to steal. To just get anything. Yeah. It, it's almost like they can't help themselves. Yeah. It's yeah. like a disease, it's, eh? Yeah. yeah. An addiction. Yeah. yeah an addiction. Yeah. Okay. Do you know klept any kleptomania? I know. Really? I know. I know. <laughs> Things that Teflepanga sense like hey. they've stolen this. <laughs> they just feel like they have to get it. I know. I know some. Like, yeah. Okay, so we're here mm -hmm. to pick up the rest of the crew. Right. So it's Christy and Roberto. And like okay. I said, I'll let you interview Roberto because you were telling me you don't know if he's married, if he's. Right. Oh, okay. Why do you wear that all the time? This reflector? Yeah. Because I'm always on the road. You know, a, a while ago, because uh, I sit in my office about four or five hours, mm -hmm. then I walk through the market. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, I was doing that in a jacket, and I almost got hit by a car. So someone says to me, always wear a reflector if you're on the street. I got used to it, and I love it. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So are you going to wear it today? I am. It's, it's on right now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the limo, yes. you're going to wear it. I'm in the limo right now and I'm wearing it. <laughs> okay guys, we'll take a break, but we'll be joining now. We're going to pick up Roberto and Christy so they can join us on the ride. 
Mingotainment can be accessed by anyone, anywhere. As long as where you are, you have internet, you could actually access Mingotainment. And I think that is one of the reasons we came up with such an application, because you realize that when you get to certain parts of the country or of the world, you lose track of things that are happening on the ground. You cannot listen to some radio stations. You cannot do certain things. So we realize that having a local application is actually what would be cool for the Zambians and for the world at large. And so it gives you an opportunity to actually listen to radio stations, watch TV, local stations, TV stations, wherever you are in the world. So Mingotainment gives you quite a number of benefits. Number one, we have coupons on Mingotainment. You get things at discounted prices. Uh, number two, you access uh, local stations, local channels, wherever you are. Number three, you could actually connect to family and friends, regardless of where you are. So it's, it's an application that is for everyone. Okay, so we're here to check out um, the other guys. We're here. To pick them up, actually. Pick the, oh, we're going with them. Yeah. There they are. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That was fantastic. Hey. <laughs> the, the energy How's level is here. Roberto. Yes, sir. Fear Hi. of God, brother. Hi, brother. Yeah. The sixth collection. Is that your brand? No, 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 no. Okay. I've never heard of Fear of God. Really? Yeah. It looks good. Anything looks good on you, though. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very yeah. much. Money yeah. looks good on me, sir. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? My man, Roberto. You? Amazing, amazing, amazing. you guys are doing well? Yeah, we're good. We're all right. You have anything to say to these guys? Oh, apart from the fact that they look good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're doing a limo ride, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're going for a ride. All right, so. Now, yeah. we're ready to go. So, do, do you want to, can, can I ask him a couple of things before we do Yeah, this? do that. Roberto, I need to ask you, uh -huh. the new song, <laughs> Fake. He's been talking about it the Let whole Let me week. tell you why I love that song. Uh -huh. It's because it's so real, even though the title is fake. <laughs> it's a it's it's a real song because it's really saying there are people out there that are living fictitious lives and yet the reality is the opposite where did who inspired what is, where's the inspiration from that it, song it, it came about because um of certain happenings like back in the day remember that video that happened um Sorry. I need everybody to hear this clearly so <laughs> remember the video about um the trip in Uganda yeah. Oh and yes, everything I else. Remember, yeah. Yes. And uh, then I made a video talking about, you know, like how we need to support each other and that sort yeah. of thing. But then what what I noticed is that a lot of people seem to show fake love to certain people. You know, like even as artists sometimes the love that we share is like really not real. It's like fake. It's just because we want to look like we're appreciating the other person, but in actual fact we don't really love each other. And that's just the truth. And so like all those things kind of like led up to me thinking about how, you know, like we live this fake lifestyle and that sort of thing. And I thought, let me just talk about it, you know? So yeah. That's How's the response been from the... From it's the been amazing. And you know, the thing is, um, <laughs> for, for, for some people, they thought it was a jab at a number of people. Those are the guilty ones. Exactly. <laughs> and also because like I was part of this particular church uh, back in the days and uh, well, the past that there has continued to make headlines and that sort of thing so they were like thinking are you talking about him so you know like a lot of people think it is connected to somebody but yeah. it was just if you listen to the song it's, it's just general. me speaking in general like i'm talking about so many things I'm talking about bleaching talking about fake behinds fake boobs and that sort of thing it's it's in general so it's not targeted at one, one person. person. Yeah. What if we have fake fake behinds here and then you're saying fake behinds? I've met I've, I've met people who actually put on like <laughs> fake hips. And yeah, that sort of thing. yeah, that's that's it's normal it's now. Normal it's now. Now. Really? It is fake yeah, hips. Yeah, for women. Yeah, it yeah. is fake hips yeah, out fake, there. Yeah. Yeah, but fake okay, hips. I have seen. I have seen people actually put on like fake hips. And that's I've never of... even heard of fake hips. No, they are. I've there. heard of fake everything else, but not the hips. The hips. Are that's the first one. The the hip and the butt. Like you buy something that you can just wear and it already has. Like you put it on. Yeah. So it's like you you can literally put on. Yeah this little thingy thing so it has like the hip you know makes you look curvaceous and everything yeah so yeah a lot of fake everything, <laughs> everything, everything fake, fake. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. so we're ready to go we're ready all right let's rock and roll all yeah. right good stuff yeah. i like your shades by the way thank you so much <laughs> i do i know i know where that's coming from <laughs> he doesn't want to see the shades <laughs> no but these are artists so you know
Okay, so we have picked Christy and Roberto and we are in this limo ride courtesy of Entertainment, Lee Love Entertainment and we are about to pop some champagne guys. Yes? Hold on, before we pop the champagne, can she pop the champagne? <laughs> Who? Christy? Yeah, because okay. like she's she's usually the one that loves to, you know what I mean? To like pop bottles. <laughs> yeah, you know like she lives uh, Which one close. are we popping first? Um, I think the one closest to her, that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. But he's not supposed to... Mr. Moore is smiling because yeah, like, like, he's what's like, going on? I, I'm just going to watch you guys take champagne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, guys. Can I help you? Okay. So, uh, while they're opening, I want to just... I was asking Roberto, like, did, did you watch Mr. Simon Moore's episode? But firstly, before we even got to his episode, uh, would, have you watched any, how many other episodes have you watched apart from yours? Which one was your favorite? I, I feel like uh, I side with a lot of people. I think the Musa episode was pretty interesting. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was pretty interesting because I feel like it was the first time that I think a lot of people actually got an opportunity to get to see him and, you know, like, get yeah. to hear his views and that sort of thing because he's really had quite a spell if I can say that yeah. you know from the bus uh, incident at the bus station yeah. this and that and um, he's a really talented guy yeah. and uh, yeah it was good to actually just get to hear his side of the story but of course I've seen a number of them I've seen Mr. Muawaz I've seen the anchors I've seen you know what I mean like all these have been yeah. pretty interesting yeah okay so do you have any question for Mr. Muawaz? Of course of course, I do. I'm ready. You know, like um, I, I'm, I'm usually very um, inspired by your zeal to really just go out in different places and seek interaction with different people. Don't you at times feel threatened because it's almost like you throw yourself in the lion's den, you know, to just get people's thoughts and views on certain issues. And at times, you know, like uh, you might think that people dislike you because you just are open-minded and you just want to hear the truth. Do you ever feel threatened when you go to some of these places? All the time, all the time. But um, I love doing what I do. And out of 10 people I talk to, maybe one will be negative or one will feel like they, they want to sort of be abrasive. But the vast majority are people that they want to talk, they want to be out there. So yeah, so to answer your question, yes, I do feel threatened but you know like that old saying goes feel the fear but do it anyway because <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing the um, incident at uh, Katungu yes and it, it reminded me of a similar situation where I just went out there to just interact with people and we were filming it and someone came and they just slapped the person who was filming and then they wanted to come and slap me as well you know so like when I saw that happening it reminded me of a similar situation that we had encountered so I thought it's you know, sad. It really yeah. is sad. how did that make you feel though well it, 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 it was a bit intimidating but you have to push back yeah yeah and the way I pushed back was I, I took him to task I reported him and the police handled it yeah one final question do you actually have like a pure cool relationship with Chilo Thank you. That was, no. that was one of my questions. No. There, we, we have no relationship. Oh my gosh. No it's relationship. And, and, and let me tell you why we don't have a relationship. There's, there's nothing we have in common. He's a destroyer. I'm a builder. Oh, wow. He's a vilifier. <laughs> I speak life into things. He speaks death into things. So there is no commonality between us. So if one day he came and said, listen, I want to I call it like truce and just like rebuild or build a friendship, would you be willing to actually accommodate him on those grounds? That's you know, that's, that's a good question. The truth is, first of all, he wouldn't do that, first of all. <laughs> let's, let, no, let's, 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 let's assume. Yeah. Okay, assuming assume. he would do that, yeah. I would think that he would do it with an ulterior motive. So I wouldn't be welcoming. Because, because of the nature of the way he is, uh -huh. if he did that, I, I, I know that it would be because he wants to do something else. Okay. So my, my instinct is to say no. Oh, okay. I wouldn't entertain him at all. At all. You wouldn't? No. Wow. Okay. Is that bad? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's deep. <laughs> that was no further questions, question. Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> we can pass it on to Christy. She also says she has questions. Hey, Christy. Uh, hi. That was actually one question I had, though it's been brushed off. But the other one is... It's been answered. It's been answered. Right. So uh, the other one is how 
well do you deal with i know there's quite a lot of cyberbullying. there's a lot of negativity on social media and we have too many bitter people yes how do you handle that because i think when i go through most of your posts and the comments we have good comments we have positive comments but there's always those few people you know they'll always be negative regardless of whether the post is positive and it's not bashing anybody how do you get to handle the negative criticism or the cyber bullying that you get all right guys thank you so much for supporting us throughout and i just want to say thank you for the people that have uh, made this episode possible Lee love entertainments live Lee love investments rather they do they have clubs club Lee loves in uh, choma kalumbila you'll be able to see all the other places uh, scrolling down just be reading through they have a car hire that's why we have this limo you want to have a limo on your special event or you just feel like feeling bougie the way you wanted to feel today <laughs> you can call them the numbers are all, all all down there just get there and also they do deco so you have an event birthday wedding kitchen parties they'll be able to make your event look good so make sure you call the numbers and i just love the fact that they really want to push women women empowerment so this business is 30 percent owned by a woman Let's support them, call the numbers for car hiring. If you feel like having some entertainment, you can visit their clubs as well. So deco as well, you want to make that event look good and you want to feel bougie like us today, call them. Thank you so much, guys.